You know, at the end of the 19th century, Friedrich Nietzsche wrote this uh, essay called The Madman. And in that essay, uh, the madman de basically declared God is dead. And that uh, ultimately we would see what the ramifications of that statement were. Indeed, we, humanity, had murdered God. And it was now time to see where that would take us as, as, as a society, as, as, as a culture. And then during the 20th century, we kind of nailed the coffin shut on God. I mean, really using tools of 20th century science and technology, we kind of said God's no longer needed because we now can explain all of these things through, through telescopes and microscopes. We've broken the code on all of this stuff, and therefore, we don't need God anymore. Well, we live in an awesome era. Because see, where 20th century science and technology somehow removed the need for God, 21st century science and technology is bringing them right back on the table. I mean, awesome time in history. When you look through the Hubble telescope and you understand the massive complexity of our cosmos, when you, when you view through the monitor of an electron scanning microscope or you know, use X-ray crystallography and you delve into the intricacy of the microscopic world of the, the living cell, I mean, it's a virtual city. Um, quantum mechanics, uh, physics that, are, that, that basically have established extra dimensionality dimensions outside our three of space and one of time. Phenomenal stuff that's going on. We broke the code on the DNA molecule and only into the 21st century do we even understand. Are we even starting to comprehend how massive and awesome the information code is that's within all of us? Let alone the application software that reads that code? We haven't even begun to understand that. So anyway, I look back and I say, wow, yes, in, in 20th century science, technology, we were allowed to, to view um, a baby in the womb. We were allowed to see the, the, the awesome world of, of gestation and, and birth. And somehow, great thinkers said, well, now we understand it. Because we can see it, we understand it. No. Because we can see it, we should be more awestruck. We should be more blown away at the fine-tuning, at the complexity, at the design, at the basic miracle that's happening around us all the time. 